Hello, bourbon friends. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Dawn. I am Michael, and this channel is Chasing Neat. Chasing Neat. Your channel for the bourbon curious. Mm. Mm. I feel like the bourbon curious is something that's already been used by some other people we follow. I don't think so. Or maybe I'm thinking of bourbon curious. Is that a book that Fred Minnick wrote? Hmm. I, I mean, know. it's not like you can take all the... It's my tagline. I'm yeah. sticking yeah. with it. Yeah, you can't like put a couple of words together that are just well known in a dictionary. And... Yeah. Well, maybe you can. Maybe you just trademark the phrase. Something like that. I don't know. Whatever. <gasps> so what are we curious about today? Oh, curious about today. So we're not curious. We're not really curious as much as we are concerned. Because... Our neighbors, our regulars on our channel, brought us this box this weekend. This weekend we did a an old-fashioned blind with our friends. So we had four. So she picked one, I picked one, mm -hmm. and our friends Brian and Denise picked one each. And then we blinded them. Yeah, and that was kind of cool because we kind of, I mean, we started doing that, I don't know, a year or so ago, and we got kind of away from that. So. Yeah trying to get back to doing more of that stuff because um, I know I am guilty of, I see the bottle in front of me and learn a little bit about it and I'm already got a preconceived notion about what I, I think I like or don't like about it. Yeah. So we did that this weekend, I had a good time with that. Um, and to that, um, we just started opening up that discussion again about doing more blinds with them, with other people, um, with ourselves. Um, we thought about maybe bringing a couple, I don't know, I don't want to call it a series because then it will commit us to like doing something regularly, but uh, maybe doing things like uh, a, bur a blind us and a blind them. Oh, there you go. You know, where obviously they're blinding us. <laughs> <laughs> Denise and Brian brought these uh, brought, uh, samples um, over for us and we're not really sure what's all contained in there, but I believe he said there he's got them all marked and I think the answers are in there too, somewhere. So, so, all right, so we're gonna open it. it. This was hand delivered to us. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I believe they told us it was they put the samples in four ounce bottles. I need a much better knife. Yeah, he needs a he needs a real knife, not an OXO knife. I've got a nice not Swiss sponsored Army knife by OXO. someplace, but I can't find it. Here? <laughs> we are not sponsored by Axel. Yes. By Axel. <laughs> go, go put that over there, so we don't, so I don't cut myself with pointy side up. Pointy side up. All right. So what do we got? So I won't look at the instructions. Mm -hmm. And they've got that packaged really yeah, well. Yeah, they do. Look at that. Ta-da! Look. It's labeled. One, two, and three. All right. A few moments later. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh. Ta-da. Okay, here we go. I think we're ready. Yes. Ta-da. Okay. All right. So, one, two, three. So, we, without doing anything, does it have any instructions on the outside of the, or is it just the answers are inside, do you think? Well... I can look. Look. But. I'm sure Brian didn't put the notes on the outside. Like the, what's the content of these on the outside. But let's just make sure we don't, we aren't given any specific instructions. We are really prepared. To Moto Crew. Since it's a sealed envelope. <laughs> I love it. I double love tape. It. Yes. So, we are going <clears> to. <throat> And I'll open that yet. Yeah. <laughs> Two Moto Crew. So that is Brian Denise's um, Harley Davidson writing channel. So check them out. We'll put a link in our description so you guys can link out to them. And if you're lucky, they will also show pictures of Casey the Wonder Dog. Yes. They're, it actually, it's their Wonder Dog. We just borrow her. Anyway, go ahead. Pour it for us. All right. One, we're going to go right to left. All right, to left. There's one. You might as well fill them all up. Oh, look at that. We may have some. Wait a minute. Over. What? 
You got more than I did. That's okay. Like that. Put that right here. Two is gonna be in the middle. So these are, yeah, so the bottles we had last weekend were four ounce bottles and these look like they might be the two ounce ones. So yeah. we, that's what our sizes are that we have. And I, and we fit, you could put in four half ounce pours or two ounce obviously for that total. And you and I think that's gonna be, that'd be pretty good sample size if you're doing that for blinds with, with other people. Yeah. We have plenty to taste when we did our four this weekend, so. Oh my goodness. All right, right off the bat, they're all Eagle Rare. <laughs> I'm on you, Day, or uh, mm -hmm. Brian and Denise. <laughs> you were gonna say, I'm on to you, Hold Reed, weren't yep. you? <laughs> <laughs> yep, our other drinking buddies. <laughs> yeah. Dave and uh, Nina. Mm -hmm. you always That's say his that. favorite you always saying. Says, I'm on to you, Mitchell. <laughs> but um, I believe Brian assured me there was no Buffalo Trace in here. So let's just see about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to obviously like everybody else does when they're doing blinds is we're going to nose it, uh, taste it, um, and then um, discuss the palette, discuss the, the finish, and then let's kind of try to figure out what we think the proof point is on each of these. Yep. Um, maybe we can give it a guess as to how, what years it might be, and then maybe guess what they are. Looks like a 1984 to me. <laughs> it's a good year for bourbon. Let's go from there, but anyway. All right. So I guess so. we just take a look at the color first, right? Yep. But, but, I mean, they kind of, to me, look like they're all, are all yeah. about the same color. Especially so I'll tell you, you what, it's a little... Look, actually, no, the, I was going to say, if you look at the bottle, but... The, I thought these were brown bottles, but they're actually, mm -hmm. the ones we had the other night were solid brown. These are actually clear. So they all look a the sample about, of bottles were that one good. looks a little darker. Of course, yeah. it's a little bit more. But, but I got I to gotta say that, even though you've got the lights out at us or the video, it's a little hard to see the color, I think, don't you, with the lights flashing at us? Well, not yeah, not because us, the, I mean, the side lights hit your eyes or your yeah, pupils, so. It's a little tough, I think, to see the color in here, but the, to me, they you all you, look very similar. All right. Yeah. So, colors. Mm -hmm. Subjectively, about the same. Yeah, I think although maybe the first one might be a little darker, but I mean. But the nose. But what? Why? Why is that important? That we care about what the the darkness of a of the bourbon is. I mean, it kind of. I think it kind of infers the the length that it's been in the barrel. Yeah, it's picked up more color. Normally, if it's if it's a younger bourbon or whiskey, it's it's it hasn't aged or sat in the barrel for very long, um, and hasn't picked up that color. And by that, also hasn't picked up the flavor. Yeah, um, that's why we all kind of yeah. like, hmm, if it's light color, I don't want it, you know. But yeah. but we've but been we don't know. we've been deceived before yeah. by light colors. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna nose these. Start from that side. I did. I was. I was oh, you were ahead of me. I was ahead of you. What? Man. No ethanol at all in this number one. Very smooth. That smells good. I'm getting a little perfume. I was gonna say a perfumey. I'm getting and more flowery real... than sweet. And brown sugar, kind of. Yeah, that smells good. Where is our nose when we need her? Next door. Dang it. She gave these to us. Yeah. That smells really good. That smells really good. Yeah, I'm gonna put this little notes down there. <clears throat> hmm, not getting any nose on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, it's just it's kind of flat. There it is. There it is. It doesn't smell bad. Whatever I can pick up. Again, it's really sweet. I mean, faint sweet. No ethanol at all. I always have to work on my nose anyway. <laughs> I always freak people out at the tastings when I put my nose all the way in and go. But. <laughs> I got a little, I got a little. Radiation might do that. I got a little butter there. A little butter. Mm, interesting. Definitely, definitely no ethanol in this. Hmm. 
so far those two smell really good. Yeah. This middle one is fainter, definitely fainter than the first one. Man, that Ooh. third one's got what funk. is that? Buffalo Trace. What is that? Maybe if it's a store pick. What is that? Reminds me of Iron Root. I know they don't have Iron Root. Oh. What is that? Iron Root. Uh, Speaking of Iron Root. A rhubarb, maybe. Rooted bigger? Rhubarb. Oh. Oh. I'm getting like I, rubbery. I, I, got, I got a little dill on that one. Again, no ethanol on this, from just from the nose. All right. Mm. All right. Going in for taste on one. Wow. Wow, that third one is really different. <clears throat> yeah, let's go for the first sip. All right. Cheers. Mm. Mm. What? Okay. That's candy at that point. That's hot. And that's got a kick. In the back of the throat. That is hot. <clears throat> but, like I said, we ha I haven't had any bourbon yet today, so it could be part of that. Mmm. That that's got a really long finish. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. And that is super smooth and sweet. Mm. Mm, my, my teeth are squeaking. I mean, there's a little bit of tanny, a little bit of age. Mm. Yeah, I'd say it has a little bit of tannic taste to it at the end. Mm. I don't have a squeaky teeth though, but still the heat, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the bourbon cough. I feel like I'm out of practice because I didn't used to get that. But we are out of practice. Yeah. So we got to start off the new year right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, did you do number two? No, I haven't. Okay. Did you? Nope. Okay. All did right. you cl clear your palate? Oh yeah, uh, kinda, kinda. I think I took a drink, and I don't know. I lost track when I took a drink. Okay, now what? This has like barely any nose. Hmm. What is, what is that? Like, okay, the only heat I'm getting from that one is the front of the tongue. Heat up front. Um, to me, it's kind of drying. Um, in the, yep. For the mouth feel. Um, it has a little, to me, a little grassy funk flavor to it. <clears throat> Keep wanting to grab for the water, but... <clears throat> hmm, what, you, what taste are you picking up? Just a little bit of leather. Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm. I want to say I want to say tobacco, but I know yeah. there's no tobacco there. But there's another. I don't know. I mean, leather tobacco to me, they they get kind of. Yeah. They kind of close to each other in taste for me. Um. That's not hot though. <clears throat> I'm hot. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. All right. Let's check All right. it out. Check out number three now, huh? Let's see, number three. <clears throat> oh, that's a weird nose. Yeah. That's <laughs> so weird. Did you guys go out and get Maddie Gladden? <laughs> it's not Maddie Gladden. There's no Maddie Gladden here. <clears throat> Good Lord. I, but it's I do, got I barley like, in it. I like the way it smells, though. I mean, like 
good amount of barley. No, nah, really? Can you smell barley? That's what is that? <laughs> Man. Okay. That one has no heat. Really. Virtually. Yeah, not, virtually yeah, not no a lot heat, of heat. Right? I mean I feel something, but not virtually no heat. So, um, but, but, I, but I bet that's I bet that's some I bet that's some sort of rye, because I picked up that dill pickle, a little bit of faint Ew. dill, you know, um, and and has a little bit of a kick like a rye wood at the end. <clears throat> I wonder you if know. this is the. Uh... Oh, I can't think of their names. We have rye. How many ryes do they have? Like they don't typically buy rye. What's the 10 and 20 year? No, oh, that one. Oh, Michters. Michters. Oh. I that's a Michters. Hmm. Maybe? Yeah, Maybe that's a, a possibility. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that's a funky one. So I bet this one is a rye. Boy, that smell. It's pleasant though. It's pleasantly different. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, now I'm getting... Now, I'm now that we're thinking about rye, I am getting like a rye note. Might be power suggestion. It does happen. That happens all the time. Okay, I'm going back one and two. See what I'm going back are. to... I'm doing what Brian does and go backwards. Man, yeah, I'm yeah, telling I'm you, that pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's rye. I got that dill pickly earthy. Right. Now I'm picking up a nose on this. <clears throat> Number two? Yeah, maybe because it's sat. Earth. Kind of. Hmm. All right, let's see. <laughs> so funny you hear us go, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm getting like an orange. I'm getting that orange chocolate. Mm, maybe. Mm. I have no clue what that is. Mm. Not that I'm expecting myself to know what it is, but um, <clears throat> let's see. Do I like that or not? I don't know. Seems pretty I I like this uneventful. I mean, it doesn't have a long finish. I'm going back to one. Okay. All right. That smells really good, number one, though. That's my favorite. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it's one, two, three for me. <laughs> Thank you. It's just sweeter. There's that squeaky teeth again. Now it's weird. <laughs> Ooh, but there, it's, it's, a... it's lingering. It's a long, long finish, and it's hot right now. I'm gonna put hot on there. My first notes. Yeah. Um, so try to put down what proof you think they are. So. I'm going with 116 on that one. Mm. I think I'm going to go like 95. What? Yeah. I mean, my first drink, it was hot, but then it was the first drink of the night, right? Okay, number two. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. Number two. I'm saying that's 104. That? I think it's lower yet. I think it's like 90 proof. I'm going with 90 proof. We'll see what's in the envelope. <laughs> okay, 90 proof. And I feel like that might be like 
I'm gonna say that's like a four year on the number two. 95 might be a six year. <clears throat> and number three. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Number three. I'm saying that one's Mictor's four year mm -hmm. and that one's 94. I wonder if these I can't are... remember what their proofs are. This yeah, one... I feel like this might be kind of the a highest proof here. Number three. I'm gonna go like a hundred proof with them. Mmm. Proof. I think I think it's definitely I think it's definitely a right hundred proof. Um, <clears throat> Man, what is that? <laughs> I know, right? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Um, what do you do? You have any guesses of what any of these are? You said other than number three, you think is? I think that one's Mictors. You get the Mictors. Or rye. Um, or four grain. No, it's definitely not four grain. It definitely, I think it's definitely a rye. <clears throat> until, we're t until we're presently surprised that it's not. But number one, I need to go back to number one. Yeah, right now, that's just that's like... That's sweet. That's good. Like a, mm. Dried flowers is what I'm smelling right now. Like potpourri. Mm, yeah, but the brown sugary. Mm -hmm. How do you spell potpourri? P O T P O U R R I. Potpourri is with a T? P O T, potpourri. That's how you spell it. Pot. Potpourri. Oh. Two R's at the end. And an I. Potpourri, two R's. Oh. That's okay. Get it. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Collectively, those have given me a Kentucky hug, but I think that's being out of practice. I, um, it's so funny. I'm trying not to think, what do they have in their collection? <laughs> they know our collection a lot better than we know theirs. Not that I need to know what it is, but, um. That's because we always sit them in front of it. <laughs> right, right. When we go over there, there's always another room. In drawers. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I have. I don't really have a clue what this first one is, but it's pretty yummy. So, um, wh how would you rank them? One, two, three for me. Now, I would. I 100% yeah. agree with that. So, yeah. rank one, two and three. One, two and three. Here's one, two and three. Okay. Whatever it is. All right. So um, the only thing. Is, see, let me. <clears throat> I want to try to do this number two again. Man, I don't know. I don't know. I say let's go to the answers. All right. Let's get the answer. Go key. to the envelope. Da, da, da. <clears throat> I don't have. There, there, you, there you go. I don't have the product showcase turned on. It's just finding your face. <laughs> To Moto Crew, and the Emmy goes to. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Best supporting bourbon or whiskey. Oh my goodness. We need to go to commercial while you do this, right? A few moments later. Okay. Pause in between. Okay. All right, you want to read the winners? You oh. can. She said, special instructions, open this first. <laughs> right. All right, bottle number one. You said... I said, perfumey, know. brown sugar, smooth oh. and sweet, 95 proof, six years. I said flowery. Did you read the palette? 
or just a nose? Just a nose and oh, a palate. Okay, palette, okay, yes. palette I said hot, candy, mm. uh, long finish, tannin, slash age. All right. Wait, what's the proof do you think? I wrote down 116. Yeah. What did you write down? 95. So the proof is 114. <laughs> well, not nearly hot enough for me. <laughs> um, they don't list the age. Come on, guys. It's Be not, complete. It's not their fault. But they do list the bottle. It is a toasted. It is a char number four. It's the architect. And it's Penelope. I knew it. I knew there was a Penelope in here somewhere. <laughs> Penelope. All right, so what Closet. did you? So number one is Penelope Char number four, Toasted Series. Yes. <clears throat> number two, you said? Buttery, no ethanol, heat up front, it's drying, kind of a grassy funk tobacco. Uh, I said like a 90 proof, four year. I think it's, I think it's young. Okay, so I said uh, not much on the nose, not much, but then later on, I, I was getting a strong flower, dried flowers, and potpourri. Potpourri. And then for potpourri. my uh, on the palette, I got heat up front, drying leather, orange slash chocolate. I said 104 proof. You said 90. Mm -hmm. The answer is 104 proof. 104. So wait, whoa, whoa, what's 104 proof? Broken barrel. Uh, yes. But that's probably all I think yeah. <laughs> But I will say this it is a 2XO. Shut up! It is 2XO? Yep. And it is the Phoenix Blend. The Phoenix Blend, really? It didn't seem that hot to me. Oh, so I'm on to your game now, Mr. Brian. Anything I say I love, you put it in there. <laughs> but it's it compared to the um, Penelope. Um, it was not nearly as strong. I mean, hold, it didn't hold up for sure to the yeah. architect for sure. Yeah. But <clears throat> all right, bottle number three. This one. You said <clears throat> uh, rhubarb and dill, no heat. Then I said later, I think it's 100 proof. <laughs> yeah, but it's, you said rye. I think it's a rye. Right. Yeah, I just don't know. You think it? Well. So I said on the nose, it was a funk rubber. Um, on the palate, I said barley, and that's usually what I get with a funk. I said low heat, I think it lingers, there's a rye note in it, and I was thinking it was Michter's four year and 94 proof, and, and the proof is 96. You were pretty good on proof. And I said 100 proof. And it is a rye, Okay. but it's a double oak. I wouldn't have thought that was double. A double oak what? That's a double oak? Maybe that's where that sweet... That more, yeah. All right, and it is a Sagamore Spirit. Oh. We well, Sagamore Spirit double oak. So is it right? It's right though. It's a right. Okay, let's see, it is right. Okay, well, at least we weren't crazy because I was thinking, there is not double oak like a typical bourbon, so. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. So we have those other than we don't know what the, our char Penelope is, I think, a five. They, but, theirs is, I think theirs was different than ours, wasn't it? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But so we have Penelope Architect, number four char toasted. Mm hmm. And then we have the 2XO Phoenix, which didn't win in this battle. Well, I wasn't really battle, but you know. Well, I came in second. Yeah, and then the and Sagamore, I came in right. third because but those were all so different. Oh yeah. Like I think the two XO came across pretty bland. With well, when you compare it to a rye, it kind of it's weird. But yeah. this was pretty. The but the architect is pretty strong. It's yeah. A pretty strong yeah. contender. So yeah, cool. That was fun. Huh. So now the challenge is to challenge them to see what is next. Whatever it is, we can't put Maker's Mark F A E O on. Back in yeah, we need refills. Taste. Yeah. So anyway, um, you guys definitely recommend doing blinds um, with on, with yourself or um, with friends. Um, we're getting ready to, to fill a bunch of bottles up for ourselves and um, for our blind ourselves series versus blind them. So I mean, I, it's the only way to really truly be honest with 
I think yourself. Yeah. I, I don't know if the best way to do it is to do one at a time or against each other, but I think I it's like kind of nice. I like doing the groups because yeah. you can <clears throat> you can compare what, what taste you're getting from mm -hmm. each one. And I think that in itself is helpful from a teaching standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's teaching teaching you to dig deep into why is this yeah. different than that, right. than that. Mm -hmm. um, when you're just doing one, it's, eh, you know, but you got nothing to this is different to. than this. Yeah. And when I go back and so I, I, I think it's a better, it does a better job educating your palate. Um, you still may not identify dill or cardamom or, but you'll be able to identify that. That is different than that. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. eventually at some point you'll smell yeah. cardamom and say, oh, that's what I'm getting when I drink, you know, Sagamore. Yeah. Except for what is cardamom? used Root beer. in oh what's it used in yeah like uh, other than like spice cake i don't know we will have to you know we should we should do a research on what <laughs> what cooks what recipes call for cardamom and yeah. see what you know what and then make it and see what it tastes like yeah so. but to me like when i when i um taste cardamom bitters it they it, have a cardamom bit, 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 bit. they have a cardamom bitters? Yes, and we have it, oh. and it tastes like root beer to me. Oh. And then it goes straight in the bitter, and I don't like bitter things, so it's, I'm not wow. a big fan of, of yeah. bitters. But um, it's, it's not like you go like this. <laughs> no, it's, it's like more of a, I usually try to get like that a, half a dash of <laughs> Angostura's. Yeah. So, um, but anyway. All right, well, cool. Um, we just again, again shout out to Two Motor Crew for providing yep. us with the samples. Thank Check you, Brian and Denise. Two Motor Crew. Two Motor Crew, and they're Casey the Wonder Dog. Yep. Um, until next time, thanks for joining us, guys. We're out. Bye bye. We might need to. Oh. We might need the Oxo again. No, no, no. I got this. I no, totally got. This. But I still need the glasses. Oh yeah. Look at that. Um, I may need some help. <laughs> I need. So is it Brian or Denise that wrapped it? Hmm. I feel like it might be Denise. Make sure that we didn't spill on the walk over. It could be. I'm getting the knife out. Oh no. Ta -da. All right. Well. Hey, I'm not done yet because I don't think I got all the way through some good stuff. And some and a bad knife. All right. Da, da, da. Kind of junky knife on its way out. So I need three. Okay, three. And you need three. Yes. One, two, and three. Ta da da da. It would have been a little nicer if you already had these glasses out, huh? <laughs> I had them out. I didn't know how many were in the box. Oh. So, we will do your three, my three. Why, Why do I need these under here? Because when we put them down, it makes noise. Like we're doing now? Yes. <laughs> Great. And since our microphone's <clears throat> right here, mm -hmm. it picks up everything. That's right. Because without a microphone, the voice really sucks. Right? Well, yeah, if you don't have a microphone at all, considering our microphone's way over there on the camera. Let's do that. Okay. She's it. Honey. Rude. It was dinner. It was all that soup I ate. You can't take a drink and go. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry. I guess I better finish these. Yes. Stop. That's <laughs> <egg> more. <laughs> hmm. Wow. We had that one, I think, too. Because I think we got it at the same time, maybe? Said more eye. Yeah, right there. Oh, that's ours is cast asleep. Well, those did not seem hot to me tonight.